The last time I made a clone, it was of Gmod. In this video, I try to make a clone of Halo Combat Evolved. If you haven't already checked out my Gmod clone video, then I recommend you go check it out. So I'll be trying to replicate the Pillar of Autumn level from Halo Combat Evolved. Let's get started. Setting up was simple, I just made a plane and added a player bean. The bean has a camera as a child. Making the movement was simple because I just imported the player movement from my Gary's Mod clone, which is just imported from my tutorial series, which was imported from my first person shooter game, which was clones from Brackies. Setting up the movement was simple as I just dragging and dropping. In fact, that is how it works, just drag and drop. After the movement was set up, I added some cylinders just to get a sense of direction. Creating the level was very difficult. I went through three iterations. The first iteration was using Pro Builder, but I could not figure out the topology. The second iteration was made in Blender. This one worked out pretty fine and I had no topology issues, but the level was huge compared to the player. The final iteration was made in Pro Builder by tracing the layout I made in Blender. This iteration is one that is in the game today. If you are interested in Pro Builder in Unity, then I recommend you check out my Unity Pro Builder 2021 video, link in the description. Back to level creation. I had to make a simple trigger animation system. This animation system was very simple. It is just an array of custom classes that has some values I can use. I have a door that activates when you pick up the magnum in the cockpit. Another door is static, forcing you to go around. Lighting was a huge pain to deal with, but I eventually fixed it by making the map in Pro Builder. So the problem was the lighting was just really low resolution because the UVs on the model from Blender can only be so high resolution. The lighting now looks good after I fixed all the problems and got all the lights in the right spot. The gun system was imported from my gun tutorial video, which you should go check out by the way. The system uses raycast slash hit scans to detect if you have hit some. Once the weapon system was imported, I made it do damage to enemies. The way this works is by getting an enemy health component, then it deals the damage by calling a function called take damage. The enemy system I used is from Vortis Alpha VOAL. You might not know what this is, but anyways, it is a game I'm working on in the Unity engine. I currently have a devlog on it, which you can check out. Back to enemies. So the system works by getting all the objects in a sphere every frame, and if the player is in that sphere, then the enemy chases the player. Once the player is in range of the enemy, then the enemy starts to open fire. The shooting part is as simple as creating a prefab and launching it really fast in a forwards direction. The graphics of my enemy is simple as this game is a knockoff. The graphics for the Elite is a cylinder with a few cubes to resemble a plasma rifle. The grunt is a rectangle with a cylinder and a cube to kind of resemble a plasma pistol. If you don't have some form of post-processing in your game, then it generally looks really bland. I imported the post-processing stack by Unity and got the camera configured to work with it. Now it is configured, but right now it doesn't do anything. Creating a post-processing profile was simple. It was just creating a new profile and assigning it to the camera. The effects that I used were just some color correction and some bloom. Bloom makes bright areas glow and color correction changes the colors and makes the game look more filmic by uses the AC tone mapper. Creating this clone was a huge pain, but I eventually got through. If you want me to make more clones, then I recommend you smash that subscribe button and leave a like. Maybe also leave a comment if you have any ideas. I plan on doing Half-Life in the future. Fun Uber out.